Alright, what you have here, you've got your two back wheels. These are the juice caps. You've got your two front wheels. We're going to cut these down to size using the X-Acto knife. And they're probably going to be about only that wide at the front. So there won't be that much of a difference at angle. What you want to do, start off with the rear tires. Uh, get some extra cardboard, like we have plenty from the uh, leftover after cutting out the body. You're going to want to trace with your marker. I'm just going to you need to have a, a full thing like that, so I'm just going to take my fingers. one. Then, using your X-Acto knife, carefully cut out the inside. This blade could be a lot sharper. Now, it's okay don't cut on the line. You want to cut a little bit inside the line, actually, because even though there isn't a lot, as you can see, there's a bit of a uh, width in here, and you're going to have the cardboard fitting inside that. So, I'll continue to cut. Now, as you can see what I've done here, uh, I've taken three cardboard discs. I'm going to do the same thing for this one now. And you just stuff them in there, make it, if you need to, push around the corners. If anything, have a little extra and a little less, because you don't want the cardboard falling out from the inside. And keep it nice and snug. Now, the beauty, if you do find and use... Um, juice container tops. They have, you can't really see that very well now, um, a little dent that is exactly in the center of each one. So what you do is you just take a ruler and line it up flush top to bottom with that center point, rotate, do the same thing as I've done, and then you make little lines that fall along with it, flip it over, and using the little things on each corner, you line the ruler back up, make little lines across it, and then that little that little X in the center will be your center point. So you're guaranteed not to have a wobbly wheel. It will not be unbalanced. It'll be perfectly it'll be perfectly smooth and rollable. And I'll show you that as soon as I get the other wheels cut up. Once you're at the step where you have made the cardboard cutouts and you have filled them, and your wheels are all secure, and you've made sure that the uh, circles are indeed uh, perfect, so that way there's as, mu as little wobble as possible when you spin these things around. Take your axle off your rear, stick it down on one side, until you hear the little uh, pop that you got it. Take your washer, just take that off of that for now, slide the body of the car down in there, take your other washer, Now, uh, that isn't half bad for some cardboard right there. All right. Now, as soon as that's all done, you want to make sure before you uh, go to the next step, 
now that you've got everything so you know how it's going to fit on there, you want to take it off carefully. You do a little bit of a twist. Drop some super glue down the hole of the wheel. And quickly stick your axle back down there. Now I've got to make sure that this is going to be nice and level here, so. After which, do a couple of twists around before the super glue completely hardens. Make sure that there's as minimal amount of wobble on that wheel as possible. I say that's pretty good. Once again, you're not looking for perfection here, just closest to it as you can. Um, a little wobble, you know, if, as long as you're not going to like the World Championship mouse car. I think you'll be fine if you have a little wobble in your wheels. This still should weigh, uh, outrun the competition by miles. Yeah. And that's all set. Alright, now we're going to do a similar process with your front wheels. Now if you want to, you can repeat the same process and get two more juice caps for the back. Uh, I just couldn't find two more. So we're going to do a similar process to the front wheels. I'll show you how that's going to go in just a second. Next step is to take your medicine cups and then uh, cut out the bottom half of them so you're only left with something that's about this big. Now. Uh, I tried one time using the X-Acto knife. The easiest and safest way to cut it around, like so, take a pair of scissors, cut down straight like I did right here, then cut, then curve it sideways and slowly turn and cut until you're all the way around and back again. And once it's all the way off, you can just look at it, examine it, and cut to perfect the circle. Um, if you want, you know, just uh, no need to be a real stickler about this. Just try to get it so it's all about the same. I got mine so it was at 7.5 millimeters, I think is the, the measurement on the, yeah, oh, milliliters, sorry, not millimeter. But I cut all the way down to where it says 7.5 milliliters on one part of the cup. Um, use that as your start off point, don't cut down any further than that, and then just cut around until you have, you know, something about this thick. Um, then what you're going to want to do for this, same deal, take some cardboard, you'll probably only need one or two strips, I'd try to squeeze two in there, um, just cut around and then just uh, press it in nice and tight. You're actually, for this, because uh, this right here, these sides get wider and wider rather than they're completely flush. Every time you stick a piece of cardboard, put a layer of super glue around the inside, flatten it. Then when you have another piece, put super glue around that and press down again. So that way it'll be all nice one solid piece. Um, because these, they didn't need it because they're nice and they got a, a lip around it. They're going to be nice and hard and they won't fall off. So you probably want to use a, a little layer of super glue to hold everything together for these. Uh, and once you've done that, I'll just uh, once I'm done this, I'll go to the next step.